What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Today I wanted to show you my lunar base. I got a lot of positive reviews on social media and a lot of hits so I figured I'd go ahead and do a nice little review. And the main thing about this lunar base is it's kinda, uh, my inspiration was I asked myself what would NASA probably do on the moon if they had everything that you have in Space Engineers. Let me just make sure my helmet is on. Yes it is. Okay. Go ahead and leave through the little airlock here, and I'll give you guys a tour. Okay, so, this is the living module that I was just in, and it's designed to be the most well-armored part of the base, and it has a little emergency port here, and it's directly connected to one of the solar panels. Smart Rotors is the only mod that I have that's relevant to this base. And I will say one thing about this lunar base, it's pretty, and I think it's definitely something a little more realistic. However, this is not resistant to NPCs or raids at all. It's purely aesthetic, but it has a certain charm to it. So anyway, I have three of these solar cell installations. And they have ladders. One thing I thought was important is I'd like to be able to access as much components as possible, as many components as possible, without the use of a jetpack. So in the event of an emergency, I could come out here, repair that, and repair something else, you know, and I should be able to access every major component without actually using hydrogen. See, there's another panel coming out back here. And this is pretty basic. Um, it's just armor blocks and some half armor blocks and I just wanted the ability to walk over it or drive over it with a rover. Full accessibility. And then right outside of the living module we have the oxygen module. We have four tanks here. And that should be more than enough to handle everything in the airlock. And we have four Gatling turrets and three missile turrets providing some kind of defense, mostly drone defense and meteors. Um, but we haven't really had a problem with NPCs around. We do have them on the server. They're just not super duper prevalent. And then down here, we have our oxygen farm system. We have four oxygen farms on the little smart rotor. And that provides all the oxygen we need. And here's another solar panel. And this is the hydrogen station. We have three hydrogen tanks with another emergency airlock to go directly into that system. And then we have four hydrogen generators and two hydrogen engines. So this is a very critical component. It was actually the first component I laid down. Um, there is another mod we have. It's called Computer Terminal, which I highly recommend. And this just gives me a little console. There, let me make sure I got it. There we go. It just gives us a little console to access stuff with with ease instead of I mean you can do the same thing with these little panels but I just slap these little computer terminals everywhere um, and then we have the power station and we have four eight twelve batteries and I think that's enough for the scale that this place is I, I think that's enough um, then we have a ladder for access and an antenna on top and another thing this base was built with was modularity in mind so it is possible I could add more tanks, I could add more batteries, I could add more solar installations. You know, this place is ripe for expansion if there were more people. It's only me and another guy right now. And then going this way, we have another connection port. It's not a main connection port, but it's a little land port and another little Gatling gun. And moving on to the other side of the base, we have our production facility. This is all like, you know, survival and storage type stuff. This is our production facility. We have two assemblers and two refineries. And again, everything is accessible without the use of hydrogen. And we have our little defense systems here. And you can, you can access every major component that you would need to mess with from the outside. So you have these assemblers. My guy's breathing pretty heavily. Back, just to make him calm down, I'll use the jetpack a little. But uh, we have assemblers that have two speed and two power efficiency modules. And then we have two refineries, each with one, uh, no, two speed, one power, and a yield module. 
And you'll notice there are little lights everywhere. Again, I thought that'd be part of a NASA aesthetic to have little safety lights everywhere. And as you can see, our production module feeds directly into our storage module. Again, everything is modular. And with our storage modules, you have the main connection ports. So you have a connector, and then you have a sorter that's going to drain everything from the ship down into here. And currently I have my utility ship from a previous video. You guys can check that out if you'd like. I have that docked up on top. And my buddy has a little small, appears to be a miner, docked in right here. That's cool. Um, but there's our storage facility right next to our production facility. And then that further connects into, this is one other mod. The uh, Nanobot Build and Repair System, I believe this is called. And this is our ship production facility. So it comes down here, and we have a little bit more defense. And then we have spotlights for light, and then we have two build and repair systems for the sake of speed. And then we have this platform, which we can use to build ships. We have a little projector to bring up blueprints. And this is where we build stuff. And that's pretty much the entire base. I have my Marauder here for any kind of defense as well. It's just sitting here powered off. And yeah, we found a spot on the moon that has pretty much all the resources we need. And this is the base. Oh, I'll give you a tour of the living module real quick. I found that not using an airlock system like this was incredibly resource heavy as far as the oxygen goes because we're trying not to use ice on any of the oxygen. We'd like to just make do on the farms. Go ahead and lift my helmet and the home sweet home. So it's a little cramped just because we have everything we need in here. We have a tube system running through. And the point of this living quarters here is that it can provide all the basic functions of the base without the rest of the base, if necessary. So we have backup power. And we have one H2O2 generator. And we have a gravity generator, so we do have full gravity in here. That's nice. We have some interior turrets for protection. And we have a medical room. And just for decoration, I have a console block with the Marauder on it. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, then we have a couch. You can sit here and enjoy the view. And that's another thing. The view is pretty good. Somebody recommended that I make a little rotunda to be able to see everything on top. And I may actually do that. Like I said, we haven't come in under any kind of significant attack. So I could easily slap a ladder, you know, up here, and then just have a little observation port up there. So I, I will consider that in the future. We have our little defense station here where I can access all of these subsystems. And then uh, the medical room, obviously. And a little armory, change our appearance and stuff. And then we have a toilet with some degree of privacy. My buddy was like, hey, we need some kind of privacy here. You can see me pooping. So... So I went ahead and put that in, and then we have some lockers, and we have our cryo tubes, and we have a little kitchen and a little table, and from here we still have a pretty decent view, and there's the earth right there. And uh, yeah, there's another airlock on the other side, and we have two small cargo containers. Uh, we personally use easy inventory. So if our inventory is full and we just want to dump it, we can go ahead and dump it in here. And also, again, we have some degree of storage for our little self-sustaining uh, facility. And we have some air vents. Oh, just one air vent. And it's enough. This is a pretty, pretty small space. And that's the lunar base, guys. Go ahead and show you guys the view. This is the view from the photo. You can see, I wanted to make sure that you could see every single important part of the base visually, especially, you know, from this little command chair, you can see a lot. But I really wanted to make sure that you could visually inspect everything without actually having to go out there, and you can. So you can see the farm, the oxygen tanks, the hydrogen system, two of the solar cells, the external battery power. And then over here you can see the production facility. And then over here you can see how all the ships are doing, all the storage and stuff. So you can really keep an eye on everything. And there's not a whole lot going on over here. But it's a nice little base. It's very aesthetic in my opinion. And it's definitely very modular in the sense that you can expand or, you know, make it smaller as your needs fit. 
and I really like it. So thank you guys for all the positive support on Facebook and other social media, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So like, comment, and subscribe for more material just like this. Thanks, guys.